Hey what's up everybody this is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to enable the iOS 7 hidden springboard settings. This is an internal tool used by Apple to adjust things like the folder animations, the parallax effect, the overall animations of iOS 7 control center, things like that and there's tons of settings in here that you can play with but this is actually already on the device and we just need to enable it. So I'm going to show you how to enable it and just a quick example of a couple of the things that you can do with the hidden springboard settings. As you can see here, I've completely slowed down the animations, obviously way too slow for anybody to use, but in that same token, you can actually speed up the animations a lot. So we can go ahead and speed these up all the way, and as you can see here, we have lightning fast iOS 7, which may make a lot of people happy because I know some people complained about the animation speed in iOS 7. Now, of course, you can always restore the settings to default if you need to, so keep that in mind. You do have that option, but there are tons of things you can do with these settings. So, for example, we can disable the blurred folder background, and if we go into a folder here, you can see that we have nothing but icons floating there on the screen. So like I said, there are tons of options inside of the springboard settings to configure. We also do have something called pinch to close, which will allow you to do exactly what you think. It'll allow you to pinch to close folders, which isn't anything special by itself. But when you take into account that this will allow you to customize your iOS 7 device a little more and take advantage of the jailbreak. Now, keep in mind at the moment, this is only compatible with iPhone 5 and lower, but that very well may change here in the near future. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to launch Cydia here, as you can see and we want to go to the manage tab down at the bottom of Cydia right here and inside of the manage tab you're going to see three different categories so we have packages we have sources and we have storage now we're going to want to make sure that we select sources here in the middle now once we're in here we're going to add a couple of repos to our device and I'll be sure to leave the URLs down below in the description but we are adding the pwn 24k repo and the Cydia hacks repo and like I said both of those URLs are down below in the description but what you want to do is go ahead and click on the edit button in the top right corner and then select add in the top left corner and this is where you will type in that URL that's down below in the description. So you're going to want to enter in both of those separately and then you should see those repositories pull up right here and right there. The pwn 24 k repo and the Cydia hacks repo. Now we are going to install a couple of things from these repos. The first one being bootstrap and that is in the pwn 24 k repo. You want to go ahead and install this using what should be the install install button but since I already have it installed we have the modify button there and then we want to go into the Cydia hacks repo here and install hidden SB settings for iOS 7 so go ahead and tap on that and then tap on the install button in the top right corner there and the installation will begin and then you will be forced to respring your device and once that's all completed we will be all set and ready to go with the internal springboard settings now it's going to take a while to respring don't be worried or anything like that just just give it its time and soon enough you should be all set and ready to go. Now once you've completed this as you'll see in control center we will have the springboard settings button there and this will launch the hidden springboard settings for you and allow you to customize various things that I was talking about like the folders, the animations, the parallax effect, all kinds of stuff. There are tons of options in here, different custom colors for control center, all sorts of cool stuff and really in my opinion I just think it's cool to see what Apple actually uses to test out the user interface and the interactions and stuff like that in iOS 7. So make sure that you have those two repos installed, like I said, the Cydia Hacks repo and the Pwn 24K repo, and the URLs for those will be down below in the description. So go ahead and check it out, and be sure to let me know what you think about these iOS 7 hidden springboard settings down in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to subscribe for future iOS 7 jailbreak coverage. This is Dom, and have a great day day.